Hey everyone, how's it going? Today we are going to mess with Raptorium CPU BIO settings. Specifically, I want to see what it does when you go from 3.6 gigahertz, 3.7, all the way up maybe 4 to 4.2 gigahertz, depending upon if we overheat the CPU using the stock Wraith Prism cooler. And we want to see how much power we're pulling, how much more hash rate you get for it, and see Okay, great, we can run really efficient, but does it really matter and does it help to go up higher and burn more wattage to get that little extra bit of hash rate? So, let me flip the camera around. What I got here is my little test bench sitting over here in the corner. It's a 3900X stock Wraith Prism cooler. It, the fan's going to be at 100%. The video card is only going to be connected when I need to go into the BIOS and I got a little screen sitting up top here so I can change the BIOS settings and then it will be pulled off and only the motherboard and the power supply will be running power. This way we get a true reading. So let me get this set up. We'll start at 3.6 gigahertz and let's switch over to the computer and continue this. Okay, so we're on the computer now, and what you're looking at is a benchmark test done directly through the miner itself. It takes about 1,200 seconds for it to complete, and it will give us some numbers that we can use to compare between the different speeds on the CPU. Everything's disconnected. The video card's disconnected, the monitor, the keyboard. The only thing that's on it right now is the motherboard and the power supply. That's it. CPU fans turned all the way up. We will get to this after it's done, but right now we are running at 3.6 gigahertz, 0.95 volts or 950 millivolts on the CPU. PBO is disabled. XMP for 3200 megahertz RAM is enabled. That's what I use. I prefer to use XMP. And as of right now, it depends upon which algorithm it's going through. The green number is what we're looking for for wattage, if I can get away the reflection here. It was up to about 102 watts. I'm going to keep an eye on this and see where she tops out at. Because remember, the Ghost Rider algorithm has 16 little mini algorithms or difficulties inside of it. The ones that really push the, G or the CPU hard are going to use the most amount of wattage. And that's what we want to look out for. So as of right now, we're at 103. That's our max. But I'll be back in a few seconds when this benchmark test finishes. 3254. Okay, so we have our numbers. So, 3254.11 hashes a second, or an average of 135.59 hashes per second. That is for 3.6 volts at 0. 3.6 gigahertz at 0. 0.9 volts. So, give me a few minutes. I'm going to fill in my little cheat sheet here and uh, retune it for 3.7 gigahertz, and we'll be right back. Okay, we finished 3339.26 hashes a second and 139.14 for an average per thread. So, let's see here. 3254 by 3339. We picked up almost 100 hash going from 3.6 to 3.7. So, let's go ahead and try 3.8 at 0 0.95 volts as well. Okay, there we go. 3,426.42 hashes a second at an average of 142.77 per thread. Again, that's almost another hash, 100 hashes versus 3.7. The only difference is I couldn't run 0 0.95 volts anymore at 3.8 gigahertz. I had to kick it up to 1 volt. It wasn't stable. So, let's reset for 3.9. Okay, there we go. 3,519.08 with an average of 146.63, which, that's about another 80 hashes, roughly, between 3.8 and 3.9 gigahertz. Only thing is, we had to bump up to 1.05 volts because 1 volt was not stable at 3.9 gigahertz. So, let's see what we can do at 4. 
Okay, that finishes up 4 gigahertz. So we're at 3,604.13 hashes a second. With an average per thread of 150.17. We're definitely still getting increases. Um, that was probably about 90 hashes. So it looks like for each 100 megahertz, we're getting about 100 hashes more per each 100 megahertz. But at the same time, once we get to the end, of all this testing, I'll show you all the numbers. The efficiency is definitely going down pretty linearly. So let's see if we can get 4.1 gigahertz to run. Because 4 gigahertz, we had to run 1.1 volts. We had to kick it up again. And we were topping out at 61 degrees C. So she's getting a little warm. But I think there's more headroom. So let's try 4.1 gigahertz. Okay. We finished 4.1 gigahertz. Definitely took a little bit, though. Uh... 3,682.39 hashes and 153.43. We're definitely, I think we're down to maybe a 75 hash increase between 4 gigahertz and 4.1. And we also had to jump from 1.1 to 1.15 volts just to get it stable. And <laughs> we were running up to 67 degrees C on the hardest rotation of the bench test so we're getting kind of close we're getting toasty let's try 4.2 i'm going to try running it at 1.15 volts but chances are i'm probably going to, have to kick it up to 1.2 or 1.25 let's see if it'll do it okay we actually got it to finish 4.2 gigahertz 3768.04 hashes with an average Average of 157, even, per thread. Okay, so we finished 4.2 gigahertz. Let me go ahead and take this chicken scratch and turn it into a spreadsheet, and we'll go over, as Ultra Component would say, all the nerdy numbers. Okay, so yes, here's all the nerdy numbers. His catchphrase, not mine. We're running an ASRock B450M Pro 4 Version 2 motherboard. 3900X with the stock Wraith Prism cooler on the side of the cooler. The little switch from low to high is on high and in the BIOS the fan is set to 100% on all these tests so this way that is not a variable. RAM is G-Skill 3200 MHz CAS 16. It's basically two sticks of 4 GB each. So we're running dual channel here. EVGA Supernova 750 watt platinum power supply. So even though we're not pulling that much power overall and the efficiency won't be that good on it, it's a little bit better than running either a gold or even a bronze power supply at such a light load. We're running CPU Miner dash op dash GR Ghost Rider version 1.2.2 for this test. Now, here we go. We went from 3.6 gigahertz, which we were able to achieve at 0 0.95 volts, again at 3.7. Then we have to start kicking up the voltage to make sure the CPU is stable. 1 volt at 3.8. 3.9 gigahertz, we need 1.05 volts. Then we're up to 1.10, 1.15. And just to get 4.2 to work, 1.2 volts. Which actually, 4.2 gigahertz all core at 1.2 volts is pretty darn good for a 3900X. I probably won the silicon lottery here. If you're trying to replicate this, you might have to go up to 1.25 volts to get it really stable. Your mileage will vary. So let's look here. On the lowest difficulty rotation, which was actually rotation 6.1 and 6.2 in the benchmark test, the lowest amount of power pulled at the wall was 78 watts, and the highest, the hardest rotation was rotations 16.1 and 16.2 in the benchmark and those pulled 104 watts and if you want to it's probably best for you just pause the screen and you can go ahead and look at all these numbers because I'm not going to repeat every single thing but you can get an idea of how much power and how fast it jumps especially once you go over 3.8 gigahertz I mean look at 4.2 gigahertz we're pulling 169 watts from the wall that's probably at least 140 to 145 just on the CPU core itself. 
the rest of it being the motherboard and the power supply inefficiency. And we can see, even with temperatures, I mean, it runs stone cold, relatively speaking, all the way up to, I'd say I'm comfortable with anything under 60C, so even 3.9 gigahertz was pretty good temperature-wise. Now, the hash rate, we can see we started all the way at 3.6 gigahertz. Now, don't get me wrong, I love rabbit mining, but he also likes to run his at 3.6. I prefer to go on 3.8 because I feel it's a nice mix between efficiency and hash rate. Um, hash rate here is 32.54, whereas at 3.8 you get up to 3,400. So you're gaining roughly 100 hashes per 100 megahertz you jump the CPU. It does get all the way up to 37, but you're burning so much power, and we'll get to that in a second. And of course here is the average hash rate per thread. And you can see it goes up fairly linear, linearly. It's always a hard word to say. Now here's the efficiency. This is the total hash rate divided by the highest wattage. Now of course it doesn't always sit there, but it gives a consistent metric for us to look at. So believe it or not, 3.6 gigahertz was actually less efficient slightly than 3.7. And I tend to run 3.8 gigahertz, 29.79 hashes per watt. Not too bad. You're not too far off the mark. And it's not really until you get to 4 gigahertz. At that point, you're really dropping off an edge here. 26, 23, then 22. I could have tried 4.3 gigahertz, but there's absolutely no reason to really run it at that point. And we've probably gotten really close to the 90 degree C TJ Maxx and the CPU was started thermal throttling. So it just wasn't worth it for this test. This is more practical. So take this whichever way you want to. Here's the data. Rabbit Mining Lake's running 3.6 gigahertz. I run 3.8. Both of us are right. Everyone's entitled to which way you want to go with it. Honestly, between 3.6 and 3.8, even on the hardest rotation, you're only talking an extra 9 watts. That's it. So that's why I would say definitely go for 3.8 gigahertz. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down below. Smash the like button. Come on over to the Mining Misfits Discord. Come say hi to myself, Chump Change, everyone else on over there. We are going crazy on Raptorium. I will also link down below Rabbit Mining's Discord because he's the OG of all Raptorium. Because the man, yeah, he knows what he's talking about. So, I will catch you guys on the next video.